have a rock band symbol that just isn't rocking anymore? In today's video, we teach you how soldering can save you big bucks and get you rocking again. Here, we have all the tools we need to fix our rock band symbol. Can't forget our tiny screwdriver. If you don't recognize some of these or just need a refresher on the basics of soldering, check out our beginner's ultimate guide to soldering video, where we go over the very basics of what you need to solder any wire. Let's get started. So as you can see here, we have a rock band symbol on blue that isn't registering our hits. Let's take a look on how to fix this. Since we'll be removing solder in this project, I wanna go over a few tools that can help us. The first, the soldering wick. It comes coiled up in a spool like this, letting you use only what's needed. Oh, get back here. To use it, the soldering wick goes on top of the existing solder and will absorb solder from components once we apply heat with the soldering iron. Another option is this desoldering pump. It comes with a plunger we push down to create a vacuum. Then we apply the tip to the melted solder, push the button, and voila, a desoldered join. Now, let's take a look at the symbol itself. The front is coated in soft plastic, and it's usually what we hit. But everything we need is on the back, so let's flip it over. Here, we use our tiny screwdriver to remove the six screws freeing the back plate. Make sure you put the screws somewhere safe so we don't lose them. Preferably, don't put black screws on a black map. You'll never find them. Now, we remove the cover. Be careful as there's a wire connected from the cover to the board that we don't want to accidentally rip. Let's spin it around and get a better look. Next, take out the PCB from its housing with a gentle tug. There really isn't anything holding this in. So just be careful and pull straight up. And here we have our problem. Most small electronics use DC power and it seems here that our power line, the black casing has become disconnected. The solder is still there, but the wire fell free. Someone's been rocking on this symbol. To fix this, we will need to trim the end of the wire and strip off a new section. Now, most wire strippers are too big for wires such as these, so I actually used a pair of small nail clippers. With the wire prepped, we now need to remove the excess solder on the board. In this instance, I will be using our desoldering pump. As you can see, there is no longer a mount of solder leaving us with a flat surface to attach our wire to. For our wire, make sure to gather all the threads into a single bunch. Now we will use a bit of solder to tin our wire. By the way, if you want to continue learning new skills, hit the subscribe button so you can keep up to date on all of the new talents we have to offer here on Proficient Skills. With small electronics such as these, it can be helpful to first tack on our wire to the board so it sticks. We then go back and finish the join properly. After the joins cooled, it's time to put it all back together. Place the PCB back into its slot. Hopefully you remember which way it actually goes. Uh, this way, that way, there we go. Tuck the wires in and drop on the cover. We 
We now a tiny screwdriver all six screws back into place. You remember where you put those, right? Let's do a bit of cleanup. And there you have it. A rock band symbol ready to play after getting this cat fur off. I set off. There we go. Oh, come on. There. All right, let's test it out. All right, so we put it back onto our stand here. Put on the leveler and screw on the top. Give it a few good wax. Success. We now have a rock band symbol ready to rock again. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to continue learning new skills with me here at Proficient Skills.